what's up y'all welcome back to my channel this is amber j so i do have another dream um it's kind of like a kingdom spouse dream i guess you can say um i'm kind of really tired of all of this stuff but i'm gonna be obedient to god i was sending number 22 all day today um and then the lord was just pressing up on my heart you know just to not be so busy and make sure that I'm making time for him, right? And I'm not just talking about making time for prayer, but making time to do the things that I'm supposed to do. And although I'm very tired, look, I go to work and I'm a full-time student and I'm a mom, okay? I am tired, but I put all that aside because I do want to give this video to you guys and I'm happy to deliver it. Let me just put it that way. I'm very, very happy to deliver this uh, this um dream that i had now before i get into the dream i do want to say this this word is specifically to you fellas out there i think i said it in another one of my videos before i said nobody really talked to the guys too much um there's like a 50 billion gazillion videos about kingdom spouses and it's all women you know and i do not want you guys to think that this is just a women's conversation and um god has promised you guys a kingdom spouse too like it take two to tango right like if god is speaking to the woman apparently come on now you gotta be a guy you know what i'm saying like that you know god is pairing her up with and preparing her for um but i do not see a lot of videos where the girls are talking to the guys and it's when i do see videos that you know women are talking to men it's never but really bible based not biblical and so it's very worldly and you know so here i am as a christian woman um a godly woman you know and I, I just want to talk to you fellas right quick and it is a dream that i had uh you know stated before it is a dream that i had and i'm gonna just get right into it because i like i said i'm tired of maybe just up mumbling at this at this moment excuse me but the dream is this um i had um it was a guy that i i was um involved with like for many years um we have finally like back then we had like an on and off thing it was just on and off and just kind of like that cindy lopper song you know time after time like we just cannot keep up with each other so it was like that and um in his dream um he was a little bit older and he was like um he was carrying all my bags i think that may be symbolic like they just came to me as i'm recording this video but anyway he was carrying all my bags and he was um you know just talking with my family and he was uh well versed like he spoke up for me and um you know not to say that you know that it was like combative or argument it was nothing of that nature but he just definitely knew how to speak you know just speak for me when i could not speak for myself um and so he uh he was carrying like you know just like my little small luggage bag i guess we were um traveling and then um he took me shopping and when he took me shopping um there was like a a, a boutique and it had like a bunch of purses a bunch of bags you know like louis vuitton and you know um big big name brands right gucci things like that and he was like give what you want because i, I want to give you what you want and um i was just looking i was like uh you know i was just looking at the different bags and um i settled on this little bitty pink look like a little girl's easter purse whatever you know what i'm saying like like something that belonged to a five-year-old girl that would wear with her easter dress right um just very small pink nothing grand door nothing grandiose and i told him i said i want that one and he was like no like what, what are you talking about like no i want to get you the big bag i want to get you out of this stuff he said pick the big bag and i was like no i'm drawn to this little bitty bag like i just want this little bag i said it's cute I, you know for whatever reason i just like the little bitty bag and he was like no so what wound up happening was he didn't take me seriously because he did not believe that i just wanted a little bitty bag but in all actuality that is what i wanted i just wanted the little bitty bag and that was the end of the dream so the dream is this and it's simply put guys i know whenever you are when you like a girl and you are in love with the girl you want to give her the world but if she's a good woman and she's a godly woman you know which she cannot be a good woman without being a godly woman um that's not what she needs that's not what she needs she needs you 
Remember, in the beginning of the dream, what made him my man was not that he could buy these bags for me. Remember, I didn't walk out with any bag. It was because he carried my bags for me, the ones that I already had. So listen, guys, this is like really just come, coming to me. Like as I'm, as, as I'm speaking, you want to give the girl the world. I understand that. And in the future, that will happen. Because you got to make it work. It's going to happen. If you want to do something good for somebody, please believe God is going to make a way for you to do that. But in, in the meantime, what bags are you carrying for her right now? What does she have going on right now that you could be helping her with? Remember, the guy in my dream, he carried my bags for me. Not only that, he spoke up for me. So let me tell you something. There's something called decision fatigue. Decision fatigue is basically mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's kind of like, okay, although I can do it on my own and I can make all these big tough decisions on my own and I can do this, who says I want to? Who says I want to? You know, who wants every single last decision to be upon them not me especially not her especially not the uh the woman as well so while you're trying to give her all these materialistic things because you've been entertaining a world and the world done told you that a woman ain't gonna want you unless you can buy her fendi gucci louis vuitton that is a lie sent from the pits of hell because while you're sitting up here thinking that's what she wants she got bags that she needs you to help her carry do you feel me Okay, and so I wanted um, to give you also this verses of scripture, like literally, guys, I'm just letting the Holy Spirit just do his thing right now, because like I said, I work sometimes I work full time hours and go to school full time in a summertime. Like this is August 2nd. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> life be like a whirlwind. So right now I am on the strength of the Lord for real, like for real, for real, for real. I'm on the strength of the Lord. Okay, and I wanted to give this video to you guys, especially to you fellas out there to let you know, listen, you are needed now. Stop thinking that your value is only in your pocketbook. Yes, you are, so, you are supposed to be a provider. Divine, prov divine provision. Divine provision. Because how could you provide to a woman that possibly make more money than you? You got to define them. Redefine provision i'm sorry i'm trying to say that you know redefine provision and what does that mean for you and your situation and hers as well remember two becomes one so i do want to give you guys a verse of scripture some verses of scripture to go along with this as well and um the first one is this and we've all heard this but let's just kind of break it down a little bit in this proverbs 18 22 when the bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing people stop right there let's take it a little further and obtains favor from the lord so wait 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 right wait so you mean to tell me that the provision that you're seeking that the blessing that 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 double dose portion that you're willing to get is going to come in the marriage not before the marriage get this guys get this fellas that double dose provision that you're seeking that that extra you know you, like let's, let's put it like this let's say fences you living by yourself you may live in a one bedroom apartment and you just kind of calculate and you're trying to crunch the numbers and you're trying to do all this just thinking well how can i pay for a two-bedroom apartment you know or, or what if she has kids and now i gotta think about it you're overwhelming yourself let me tell you something get out of yourself get out of your own mind if she's working and you working y'all can do it together which brings me to my next scripture Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12, and it says, Two are better than one, for they get a good return on their labor. So listen, just going back to what I was saying, if it's about money, if it's about provision, all of that's going to come in the marriage. And if you, you, if you, you know, the girl that you, you, you may be thinking is your kingdom's wife, 
or whatever, and she kind of lazy and she don't like to work, that man, I don't think that's a kingdom woman, okay? You're going to have to go to Proverbs 31, okay? Because uh, Miss Virtuous Woman, okay, that Miss Virtuous, she was pretty much up all day. You better go read it. She was up all day working, honey, doing stuff, keeping the house busy, keeping the house afloat. A woman like that ain't going to let you go broke. So listen, fellas, keep God first. I never really ask nobody to like and share a video, but like and share this because I don't really see a lot of people talking to the guys. You know, you keep waiting for things to be perfect before you get married. No, 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 no. Things are made perfect in marriage. Get married first. Go to the courthouse. It's cool. I did it before. Ain't no, you know, have a nice dinner afterwards. Look, it's life. You got to build it. You got to build your life, okay? And like I said, while you're sitting up here um, waiting for things to be perfect, it ain't never going to be perfect. This not heaven, this earth. You in our, you on earth. You on planet earth, okay? And um, there was one more scripture that I wanted to give it to you guys as well. And I want you to think about her, right? Um, the Bible says heart deferred makes the heart grow weak. If she is believing for you, praying for you, standing in the gap for you, and you're keeping her at arm's length, you're keeping her like spaced away because you're thinking that you can't provide for her, you're thinking that you can't be all a man materialistically for her, that you want to be, number one, pray. And ask God to get that sense of idolatry out of your mind because there's something in you that that girl sees that is beyond dollar signs and that is more valuable than anything and you should really appreciate that number two she's a human you want to she can only hold on so long you don't think she get weary in praying you don't think she get weary and hoping? You don't think she get weary wanting to know well, what is it? Well, why is it that he not? You know, you don't think you don't think that makes her a little bit weary. You know, a little bit bitter sometimes. So you know, you have to you remember you you deal you're dealing with a human being. You know, like any other, even though she's a godly woman, she still got some emotions. You know, nobody around here is Jesus the second. So listen, you guys, um, you fellas out there, um, stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. Get real. If you find yourself a real person, let me tell you something. They got millionaires. They got celebrities out there, billionaires, still trying to find real people. And there you are, letting it go. Like, come on now, look, get it together. Look, stay prayed up. Let God move your heart and trust him. Trust him. Trust him, okay? When he say he got you, look, I'm going to give me some rest. I love you guys. Be blessed, okay? Look, if you're a guy, if you're a girl, you know, still listen to this video, like and share. If you're a guy, share it, okay? Because I'm hoping that it's going to help you guys make make your decision and moving forward with your kingdom wife okay because we tired of praying for you little knuckleheads out there anyway i'm just kidding you guys i love you be blessed bye